First of all, I bought this camera I used online and it hasn't once failed. In today's digital age, content creators and filmmakers have access to an array of tools to elevate their craft, regardless of their career stage. With smartphones equipped with impressive cameras, capturing high quality imagery has become easier than ever before. However, for filmmakers seeking greater control and creative possibilities, there's one camera that continues to hold its ground even among the latest models. That is the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Introduced nearly five years ago, this camera continues to deliver stunning visual results and remains one of the best bang for buck options in the market. The Blackmagic Pocket 4K features a micro four thirds sensor that boasts an impressive 13 stop dynamic range, a remarkable achievement for such a compact sensor that allows for capturing stunning cinematic quality images. It allows for 4K video recording at up to 60 frames per second. However, shooting at these higher frame rates necessitates a sensor crop owing to its already tight crop factor compared to full frame sensors. Despite this limitation, the camera's dual native ISO settings of 400 and 3200 perform well in low light conditions, though they may not match the capabilities of larger sensors on the market. Nevertheless, the image quality it offers at its price point is exceptional and the option to fine-tune the desired look through internally recordable raw format empowers users to achieve their visual objectives effortlessly. For optimal low-light performance, I've noted that a setting of 1250 ISO has proven to produce less noise than the 3200 ISO. The camera offers a false color feature which aids in achieving accurate exposure levels. False color overlays a color-coded visual representation on the screen, making it easier for filmmakers to adjust exposure settings and maintain consistent image quality. Most times, I rely on these tools to properly expose and I've noticed that the force color on this camera appears better than most other systems. And this is even made easier with this easy-to-navigate simple menu system. No other menu system out there beats the Blackmagic menu system. Blackmagic has consistently incorporated an abundance of features into the cameras, catering specifically to filmmakers. The Pocket 4K initially supported ProRes and Cinema DNG RAW recording. However, in 2019, Blackmagic introduced its own RAW codec bureau while discontinuing Cinema DNG. While this change has sparked mixed reactions, I believe that the shift to bureau is more logical Considering the target market, ProRes remains the industry standard for post-production workflows, ensuring seamless playback and compatibility. On the other hand, Bureau offers smooth playback, optimizes footage storage in camera, reducing reliance on post-production processes. Both formats deliver exceptional results during post-production, and the choice between them ultimately depends on the specific requirements of the project. There's been cases I've noticed online where Sony users have switched from the newer FX3 or FX6 to the Blackmagic platforms because of Blackmagic's B-Raw. Blackmagic's B-Raw is now supported in popular editing software such as Premiere Pro, Avid Media, Composer, Edios, and DaVinci Resolve. This seamless integration allows filmmakers to manipulate raw parameters including color space, gamma, white balance, ISO, and other settings directly within the preferred editing application. The camera offers multiple options for recording media such as SD cards, CFast 2.0 cards, or external SSD via USB-C depending on the selected frame rate and resolution. The inclusion of a drop frame marker and its ability to stop recording in such instances enhances reliability during shoot. The Blackmagic Pocket 4K features mounting points on the top and bottom, ensuring secure attachment of a cage without any twisting. It allows shooting in portrait orientation, providing filmmakers with greater creative freedom for specialized projects or social media content. Additionally, it offers a good array of inputs and outputs, enhancing its versatility. However, it's worth noting that the camera's usage of LP6 batteries coupled with its high power consumption can result in quick battery drain. To mitigate this, filmmakers can opt for an external power solution such as a large V-Lock battery or an external USB-C power bank or utilize multiple LP6 batteries with frequent swapping. 
Check the link in the description below on the accessories I use when I power my 4K. I do this either with a power bank or V-mount battery. The camera has a limitation of HDMI output when recording in certain high quality format. For instance, when capturing video in 4K DCI or UHD at 60 frames per second, the HDMI output is restricted to 1080p. This cannot be fixed with a firmware upgrade as the internal hardware restricts this. The BMPCC 4K supports control over Bluetooth, enabling users to remotely manage the camera setting and functions to a compatible mobile phone, enhancing flexibility during shooting. I use this option a lot when filming myself like I am now, as it helps me focus then it looks and more right from my phone. As the Blackmagic Pocket 4K has been on the market for some time now, there is a wide selection of accessory designs specifically for this camera, allowing for easily customization and rigging based on individual needs. The Micro Four Third lens mount provides access to a variety of small, affordable MFT lenses, while the option to adapt almost any desired lens. For those seeking a look closer to that of a larger sensor camera, a focal reducer can be employed. However, due to the camera's basic autofocus capabilities, many users go for a lens adaptation and manual focus pulling. For smoother results, lenses with image stabilization are recommended, especially when shooting handheld. One significant advantage of purchasing the Blackmagic 4K today or any other Blackmagic camera is the complementary copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio. While a free version of Studio is available, the Studio version offers powerful enhancements including the denoiser, GPU acceleration, higher resolution timelines, and more. This software inclusion serves Blackmagic's vision of establishing control over the entire imaging pipeline from acquisition to publishing. DaVinci Resolve is an exceptional piece of software widely used in the industry, making it an essential tool for filmmakers and content creators alike. The Blackmagic Pocket 4K remains an impressive camera that provides a compelling blend of features still for filmmakers. While it does have some downsides such as the absence of a sophisticated autofocus system, in-body image stabilization and limited battery life, this can be overlooked considering the camera's primary target audience, the cinema market and aspiring filmmakers. It features a large screen, although cannot be articulated, is large enough for DPs to clearly see everything in their frame. For those looking for a slight upgrade, Blackmagic also offers the Pocket 6K, 6K G2, and 6K Pro models, which provide additional enhancements and a screen that can be flipped to an extent. The Pocket 6K Pro in particular offers an internal ND filter system, a brighter skin, and the option to use an external electronic viewfinder. Whether you choose the Pocket 4K or explore the higher-end models, Blackmagic cameras empower filmmakers to create stunning visuals and unleash their creative potential in the world of cinema. If you found this video helpful, I encourage you to like and subscribe to this channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.